Hey love bugs, it's Riles on Mega 2 one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the video just gives you a, a, a good uplift or give you insight that you truly need it or resonate with, please go ahead and give a thumbs up and share. We greatly appreciate it. Um, and send so much love and light and protection uh, to get you through your days. And as always, you know, anybody would come in through with energy of ill will and hidden intent that is not good and it's not serving my highest good and you trying to do something that's going to hurt me, hey, turn it back ten times fold. But a step with mine is going to be blessings, love, light, and healing. So the video I'm about to do today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, stay low key. Needs to stay low key. You uh, have to play the fool of the fool that think they're fooling you. <laughs> I was like, I told people that before I even I came across that that post. Um, doing that. Excuse me. You become a beast when you allow yourself to not be in your feelings. You know, a lot of times, you know, we're spiritual beings and human you know going through human experiences so there'll be sometimes we'd be up in our fields you know sometimes we putting our heart on our sleeves but there's a lot of times it, it comes from when that allows when you get to that point where you're coming out of character and you know a lot of times especially if you've been going through that healing journey and you're really working on yourself you know there's times i've been where you know i allow situations to bring me out my character i allow people's projections of drama get me out my character because it's like how I used to be I'll go tit for tat you say something to me I'll say something back you lay a hand I have to you know it'll be one of those things but it had to be at that point where I had to stay low key off of that you know um you get people wondering about you you know especially if you in a situation where you got constantly have enemies are out there just watching every move you make you know, you can't even sneeze or pass gas without them knowing it, you know, and you have to really stay low key about different things, move in silence, you know, not allowing people to know, you know, what your next steps are. And a lot of times it's that you can't tell family, you can't tell your siblings, and sometimes you can't tell your husband or wife, you know, as long as it's not creeping or cheating like that the situation is different. But, you know, um, going through different things I had to learn you know the hard way especially being here will be different times like day you know you tell yourself shoot I love I'm doing something that really makes me feel good and I'm feeling happy about it I should be able to express this you know people should be happy for me I'd be happy for people when they got good things going on just you have to be in your state of mind is knowing everybody don't have that same heart as you and not everybody had that same man mindset as you just because you wish people well and you're not being jealous or envy or whatever because somebody's come up or somebody you know overcome something or you know they they're trying something new and it really you know really piques their interest you know and when you're not doing that that doesn't mean everybody else is going to be doing that and I had to learn from the hard way on different things that I've achieved different you know things that I've learned out about myself um or you know things I've overcome you know I want you know being able to be you know expressive to that but it'll be a lot of times you just don't know. Sometimes you be going through things and you're wondering why when you're starting a new project it don't go well. Or, you know, you lose interest or, it, it you know, a subject can fall through. Especially like if it's like you're doing a website or you're starting your own business and stuff like that. There'll be different people had that, why, that should have been me type vibe. And just because you let that evil energy, energy in, that low vibe frequency in they don't put they, they people curse you to stagnation somebody curses you to you know upheaval all those different things you know and so it's like you have to, you can't let the left hand know what the right hand doing you know the only time you should be speaking on something is when you on checkmate other than that you got to really move in silence you know because people can't stop what they can't see they can't pray for a downfall on things if they don't exact know exactly what you're doing you know, you have to be able to step back at times, you know, when you're working on yourself, healing yourself, you know, really trying to find out to the core, what do I need to enhance in myself? What do I need to focus more on? What do I need to let go of? What do I need to look from a different perspective? All these different things that you're going through, you have to really stay low key about it because it's just like, I always tell people, 
the stronger you get, especially if you're a hate ochre, the stronger you get, the more intimidating you are. The more intimidating you are, the more drama that comes in, into your life. Because you'll notice that people just, you. I mean, it'll be, I, I've had it. You know, I'll be on different videos here and and I can say a comment and there'll be somebody else, like four or five other people that almost made the same kind of comment on a certain situation. They don't say nothing to them. It'll be different people that's like, oh yeah, I feel that way too. Da, 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 da. And I'll have some of those too, but you always get one of those two idiots that want to come out and, and just start trolling. You know what I'm saying? Stuff I'm like, that didn't, other people didn't do that. Why are they doing that with me? Or why when I go in a certain place, especially at my job, why, why do they always have an issue with me? Even though I'm just, I'm living my own life, you know, in my own world and just trying to do what I got, I'm getting paid to do. I used to go through, you know, different jobs where I had to deal with stuff like that. And I'm thinking something wrong with me, you know, until I start seeing all the, you know, different characteristics that, you know, Hayokas have. Because we stick a lot, you know, a lot of times, you know, if you have played um, small, and you allow yourself, you know your ish. You know, you stand on your own two feet. You stand up for yourself. People think that you're being passive or you're being arrogant. And it's no. It's just the fact is you know who you are. You're sensitive about your stuff. You know, and these are those different things is where you're appreciating all these life lessons that you have gone through to where you have, sometimes you have to keep things in secret until you, you know, you got messed in solid concrete. Because there'll be different people I see, you know, especially on YouTube. But like, hey, you know, God is telling me don't, don't be doing that. Or I even tell y'all, there'll be different times where I had, you know, uh, different live chats. And there'll be some people who take it personal because I'm like, hey, don't talk about that up here. And it's not nothing about me. I want to see you happy. You know, it'll be like, oh, Rosalind, I think I'm going to be my twin flame today. I'm like, shh, don't be telling nobody that. You know, there's a lot of people out here that can't find a man or a woman worth nothing. You know, even when they're on um, pure minutes of desperation or feeling low about themselves. The first thing you do, the next thing you know, you, 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 you know, your twin flame end up ghosting you. You don't talk to them for a while or, you know, things start going crazy. You know, because there would be people out there wishing that, you know, they ain't going to go through that. They ain't about to have that, you know. That I ain't get mine. You know, you don't, they don't even got to know you. And I tell people real quick, I said, don't take it personal. If me and you talking one-on-one, -on -one, say what you need to say. I'm not going to judge. You know, I'm going to inspire you. I'm going to give you words of encouragement saying, yeah, I pray for you. You got this. You know, I hope you get it. This and stuff like that. But there will be different people out here. You, you already see right, right now with the retrograde, everybody's energy is on high. Everybody's energy is on high. You know, and it's like with my situation, I see how it aggravates a lot of my enemies because they always want to know. They're, you know, they're curious about what you're doing. What are you doing? What are you working on? Who are you working on it with? Who are you with? You know, all those different things. Who you talk to? Who you don't talk to? And I keep that mess to myself. Keep you wondering. Inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> you know, and I had to be able to do that. And it was just like, it, it, it makes you feel good when you have a little secrets now and then you know and a lot of things i always tell people you don't got to post every single thing on your social media i don't even rarely get on social media unless it's like going through the you know ig stores or you know i find my instagram shorts that you know that i enjoy or i send it to my friends that i'm you know connected with there or i share it here on youtube and stuff like that and you know being low-key like that you you know you become dangerous especially when you have people you know and you know it'll be different times like you know, I had to be able to know what myself, you know, how, um, you know, why, why every time somebody always trying to instigate something with me or somebody's always trying to trigger me or always trying to, you know, get me out of my vibe of peace. And you have to understand, you know, we have to understand we don't have control over our lives. Only God, the most high, you know, do, you know, but we have our control of our power, what we give it to and what we push in it, you know, what we welcome in it, how we say things, you know, how we reflect on things you know and reserve and um observe them and being able to respond instead of reacting you know and i used to always ask like why do why do people always go out their way to do stuff like that you know it you know and i had to be able to tell people you, you can't tell people your pet peeves and stuff like that and see that's confirmation you shouldn't tell people your pet peeves and stuff like that because you when people know the things that get up under your skin you know they will do that just to piss you off you know, and I had to be able to understand that, you know, and it's just like I'm at that point where I'm happy my triggers are no longer my triggers because it's happened so much to where I'm just like, okay, that was showing me where I needed to be healing at, what I need to work on. You know, you have no control over what people do. When people um, go out their way 
to do something to you, you know, just to get you out of your element, you have to understand. You can't. You, you have to remind yourself. You can't take it personal. You know, when you're allowing yourself to face the facts of your healing, and what healing is hard, staying positive is hard. Not allowing yourself to get out of your feelings and start popping off on mofos is hard. You know, and you're you're learning from those things every day. You know, you got to congratulate yourself when you're doing stuff like that because you haven't come a long way. You know, I'm at that point now where I'll say what I got to say. I'm not going to be, you know, I can be around somebody where, where you want to be competitive or, you know, throw a rock, hide your hands, you know, gaslighting and stuff like that. And I, have to, I talk calmly. Because it's just, I'm going to say what I got to say. You know, you have to understand when people are in their peace, they're not going to be trying to trigger you. When people are focusing on themselves, they're not going to get mad at your growth. They're going to be congratulating you. Like, shoot, I'm on my move. You're on your growth too? Girl, yeah. You know, man, you're on your growth. I'm on your growth. Okay. Mm. You know, be one of those different things. But you got some folks out here that monitors the mess out of you. So you have to play the fool sometimes. It's like, you you know, you and your high self, like, you see that? You peeped that out? Mm-hmm, I peeped it too. Okay, you ain't going to say that? No, I didn't. I, I'm not going to. That's what me saying. I'm just observing. You know, I see a lot of things around me I don't say. You know, I, I see a lot of different things that come my way that spotlights things that universe warns me about certain people. You know, and I had to be able to do that. You know, and I have boundaries up and that irritates a lot of people when people can't manipulate you. You know, you become difficult. You become this, you become that. You know, the crazy, oh, they jealous that they this, that they did. Anyway, all, all different stuff come to me, and I started busting out laughing. You know, I was even telling y'all the other day, people even be saying I do black magic on people. I started laughing. I said, man, the power I hold, you trust me, everybody going to know if I put some black magic on you. That's just karma coming back at you. You know, because right now, that's what a lot of different things is going on. And then it's just like with my situation, I love being able to say this mess has healed me. It, it can get very uncomfortable because at times you can feel defeated. Like you, but you really are not. When you're allowing yourself to work on yourself, what we go through is not for the weak at heart. You know, it's hard for you to hold yourself accountable for different things in your life. It's hard for you. Um, it's hard when you have to allow yourself to hold accountability of the suffering you added towards your life. You know, and it, it's just like every person that we meet, it will mirror out the things that we. You know, we need to heal on what we have to let go of, forgive, you know, be at peace with it, you know, be accepting of a lot of things. You know, not saying that you're condoning disrespect, you're condoning toxicity, but you, you being able to understand we can't force nobody on a healing journey, you know. And there's a lot of people out here that just refuse to heal. And you have to be okay with that. Like, you know, I, you know, I just, I have to pray for my enemies. But it's just like if something fall out, well, you already knew that was going to happen. I'm not going to feel sorry for you. I'm going to put prayers out for you because I know healing, it that takes a lot. And a lot of people don't have patience for that. A lot of times when we have to face the things we got to face, you know, that's some real G mess. You know, and it, it's just like it's not easy for people to do. It's just a lot of times, oh, it's just easier to project on you. It's just easy to put drama on you. <laughs> you know, it's just easy to do that. And you have to be able to peep things out. Be observant. And you, when you see a lot of things, I, I'll be seeing certain things. And there'll be times I got to laugh. And I keep telling people, you know, when you go out your way to trigger somebody and you know that person ain't did nothing to you, just because you're favored by God, just because you were anointed by God, just because you stand in your light and your power and your strength, that irritates a lot of people. So when you're allowing yourself to focus on healing and people keep coming out to try to distract you, that's all they are is distractions. Even when things go wrong, it's a distraction. If you take your mind off of the, your purpose, what, what's truly important. You know, we go through that at times. You know, you get tired of dealing with certain things in your life. You know, when you're trying to like, Dad, I'm trying to tolerate this person or Dad, I'm trying to be positive about my circumstances. You know, and God knows that. He understands. But these are the things you're not allowing what other people are outside influences to discourage you, to keep going. You know, that's what the devil wants you to do. They want you to feel doubtful about yourself. They want you to feel alone. They want you to feel like you're unwanted, undeserving of love or attention or anything like that. You know, I go through those different things. I had to be able to get my own self-attention. I had to be able to say beautiful things about me, even when people are saying hateful things to me. I had to be able to place love in there when I was surrounded by hate, constantly surrounded by hate, you know, and all those different things. But you, you understand when, when people are doing that to you, you have to know. And this is, you know, and I have to remind myself this a lot. When you are triggering people, 
you're, what you're doing is in healing, being in truth, standing your ground, that irritates a lot of people. You know, you're living in your truth. People are comfortable with living their lives. You know, you, you know, don't place judgment. You know, I had to allow myself to change that up, you know, work hard on not judging people because they want to do that. You, you have to understand people are fighting a war we don't know nothing about. And a lot of times people deal with things differently. Sometimes they shut people out and sometimes, you know, people will place that on you. And you have to be that person. It's just like, is this going to be supporting my growth? Is this supporting me on where I'm trying to go to? You have to be on your grind by working on you. You know, that extra challenge that comes in when it comes to all these different distractions, that's adding strength towards you. And it's just like, how is that adding strength towards you? Because there's some kind of resistance to make you want to go back to what was familiar, to make you want to go back to what was yet comfortable, even though being in a toxic situation is never comfortable. But at times we feel like we, we're not going to go nowhere past that. And it could be like, yeah, you're right if you don't work on it. You know, it can continue to get hard, but it's just like when God sends you those little snippets of notification saying, hey, this is that time, that uncomfortable time. You have to get comfortable being uncomfortable. I'm going to put you in certain situations just to see how you're going to go about it. If it's something out your control, are you going to allow this to ruin your whole day and not move forward? Or if this is that time where somebody will pull you out of your comfort zone of peace, are you going to allow yourself to be in that low vibration? You know, don't never water yourself down to match somebody else's vibe, match so somebody else's frequency. You got to be on that one where standards are high. You're not settling for anything. And if you ever settle for something and you see where it took you to, heartache, pain, pain in the butt, whatever, you know, on a standstill, you see what that got you. This is why the universe tells us, hold your boundaries up. There'll be different times where you need to shut off the phone, you know, not answer the door. You know, not respond to a text message, email or whatever, because you're trying to focus on you and you have to be okay with that because, you know, push come to shove. You know, like my mama used to tell me, is that person going to do the same thing that you're doing for them? Because if that's not being reciprocated, that should tell you, you know, and I had to learn a lot on that, you know, of when it comes to different things that wasn't reciprocated to me. You know, when you know your worth and you know you're going to stand your ground, you become a very difficult person. And you have to stay very low key with that. You have to be able to move in ways that where other people don't see. You know, and a lot of times it's like words to the wise. You just don't, you know, because a lot of people in the world is not going to want to see you happy. You know, a lot of you, you are a threatening person. The more you ask universe, when you allow universe to show, this is what I deserve. This is what I want. I'm going to ask universe to help make this happen. And when you do that, stuff starts unfolding like crazy. And a lot of times, you know, we, we don't see what's going on behind the scenes. We can be frustrated right now because it's like energies are spiked up right now. It get crazy. They're telling you, make sure you don't get into conflicts. That's why if I got to say something, I'm going to be very straightforward. Even though a person want to be combative with me, I'm not going to be combative with you. I said what I said and I'm done. You know, and I allow myself to be able to do that. You know, I'm not entertaining no toxicity. And I had to be able to appreciate that, you know, because all the different things that's no longer serving you are leaving your life. And a lot of times when we're going through these different situations, it's opening up something for the new for you. But sometimes you have to go on that journey. And it can be very lonely at times, you know. And there'll be times I'll be by myself, but it will be just different times where, like I was saying, when people are being triggered, you know, just by you being you, healing, you know, being at peace. That destroys a lot of people because they liked it when you were when, when you were out there like that. They like it when you were raw, raw, raw all the time. It'd be like, oh, you want me to be hood. Now, I can be hood if I wanted to, but it's just like this ain't a space and time. I'm, what I'm chasing for is my dreams and my paper. That's it. I'm, I'm manifesting, you know, and I, that is not going to be catering to what that's something I let go of. Because a lot of times we'll get focused on the things that we are out of our control, like how people are doing us, what our situation is. And these are the things that's like where the universe has got you to stay focused on what you're trying to bring into your life. These are the things you had to be able to let go of. These certain people are your history. These certain situations are history. You know, they they taught you a lot. Your situation taught you a lot. Show gratitude to that. Whatever other people are having going on in their life where, you know, you, you just see that, you know, you can feel the density in, in the low, you know, the low, uh, low frequency or low vibes. You know, send love and prayers to them, you know. 
because there's a lot of different things that, that's going on into the life, you know, and you had to be able to change whatever your weakness is. It's, it's going to become your greatest strength. Like if you know you're a type of person, you're a control freak. I used to be able to manipulate and do things to where I wanted it, where I was comfortable, where I, you know, where people ain't going to try to run over me or do something they ain't supposed to be doing to me. I used to always control stuff like that. Now it's just like. You know, I ain't got to know about it. You know, God going to know. God going to get you. Karma going to get you. I ain't got to worry about that. You know, even though it may get up under my skin, I had to be able to woo rub on the earlobes and be just like, girl, focus on what you're trying to bring into life. Focus on what, how far you came. Don't allow what these folks is doing or allow situations that are out of your control make you fall back into your old ways. Your old ways don't need you no more. Your old ways is what converted you to be in, in, in your new ways. And that's hard to be able to do, especially when, you know, you've been at a frequency for so long. And then you, when you're trying to allow yourself, you know, to be honest with yourself. You know, yeah, you can be in your, you know, we get into sensitivity. You know, it happens. We can get a little jealous or envious of certain things. You know, especially if you've been working hard and you've seen people getting blessings left and right. And you know you've been putting in the work for that. You know, because I see some people, it's like, if you ain't put the work in for it, don't be sitting up here mad at somebody else getting their stuff. Don't do that. Because you, you don't know what kind of work they've been putting in. You know, that's why I always tell people, you know, regardless of what I am, who I am, who I'm related to, anything that's good coming in my life that can be considered a big blessing, I earned that. I worked hard for it. Regardless, you know, you got to be able to work harder than the people trying to keep you away from it. And you have to be able to do that. And a lot of times you got to be able to play the fool like that. They be thinking you plumb dumb and you were like, you took a mental note. You got it up there in that, that, that little file drawer on what was going on. You know, because of these situations, you don't know what God got around the corner for. You don't know what, you know, what, what rewards you're going to have to go. Uh, there's going to come in strong connections with you just for all the trials and tribulations you have gone through. And a lot of times for that to happen, you got to be low key about that. You know, you can't be announcing everything that's going on, you know, because I be telling people, hey, don't be reading yourself on video. You know, I be seeing people do uh, their own personal readings in front of people. I'm like, well, ah, don't do that. You know, don't be doing that. Don't be doing that because people, you know, you don't know what kind of, you know, you don't know what kind of intentions they have. That's why people be asking me, oh, you want a reading? No, I do my own. I'm good. Thank you, though. I, I just don't do that because I know that certain vibes that are coming up, you, you know, because when you give people um, permission to do that, you don't know what kind of intentions they are. That's why I laugh when different comes to me, you know, about that. But it was just like, okay, it is what it is. You know, I know my truth. God knows my truth. Let them, let them tell whatever that lie is and go on about it, you know, and be on it. But it's just like so many different things. It's taught me, you know, you become most dangerous. You know, when you stay quiet, you know, they always tell you, you know, be sometimes, ooh, I'm scared of that person because every time, you know, somebody pop off, they be, ah, 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 you know, and it's just like I was always growing up to be scared of the person that's not saying something. You know, the one who sit back and just observe things. You don't know the last 10 minutes, they probably done killed you 20 different ways in five different locations, you know, and they'll be like, oh, you bet? Mm mm. Mm mm. You know, I tell people, you got to be a little bit careful on your poker face. You know, you got to be RBF all the way. It was like, what's wrong with you? Nothing. I'm just thinking about some different stuff that I'm about to do right now. And you know, you have to be that way because I used to be that type of person. I would be about it. Like, you want to go to the streets, I'll leave you there. We can be, you know, we can be about that. Now it's just like, I'm not about to allow you to chump me. My pride is not going to get in the way because a lot of times I would get mad. Like, you ain't going to chump me. You ain't going to embarrass me. You know, be like that. And it's just like, you just done stooped to that person's level. Why even do that? Tell them, bring them up to your peace. You ain't got to step down to that chaos. Don't be doing that, you know. But everybody has their moments. Everybody has their things. And it's just like when I see all the things I went through in my past from the choices I made, you know, mistakes I made, I appreciate them because they really taught us a lot. It's like when you learn from those mistakes, you know, and you're allowing yourself to really connect, uh, correct yourself about that, that's where your learning comes from. Because there will be different times when we go through different things and you will have a fallback moment. You know, it's like, Dad, why I allow myself to get angry about that? Or, Dad, why I allow that person, you know, take me out of character? You know, and you get angry. Or you get set back because you get overwhelmed because you got so much stuff that you're dealing with. And it's just like, don't bash yourself for that. Don't be so hard on yourself. Because when you, actuality, when you allow yourself to really step back and look at the the voice of reason for that, that positive perspective on that, it's just the fact is, you at that you're at that moment where you can call your own self out and say I messed up you know what am I gonna do about it 
what do I need to heal from? What is this telling me I got to do? That situation or how I responded to that just showed me, you know. And I always tell people, congratulate every level you have gone through. Even when you're not exactly where you want to be at, you are far more different than the person was that started off on this game, you know. You've gone through a lot of different things. You know, you get hit with challenges like these ain't little petty challenges. You're going through some harsh stuff to where sometimes it's going to make you want to come out of a bag on some folks. Make you want to come out of a bag on some situations. Make you want to just pop off a lot of times. Sometimes you got to just walk off, you know. And a lot of times it'd be hard like, man, <laughs> I'm that type of person. I smile in my mugshot. Don't play with me. My left side is always my good side. You know, and just that'd be, you know, maybe they weren't, they ain't got home training. They at war with themselves. I can't stand you. You can't stand yourself. <laughs> okay, you gotta be like that. And just keep it moving. You know, you got places you trying to be at. You got pinnacles you trying to reach. You know, allow them, if they think that, you know, they want to sit up here and make you as a joke, why don't you go ahead and laugh like it's funny? It's like, y'all really don't know. You know, I only want you to know what I want you to know. Other things, like I keep to myself. I learn from that mess. Keep it to yourself. You got too many people out here that don't want to see you prosper. You know, so you allow yourself to learn and appreciate those things. If they think they're playing you for a fool, as long as you know, you ain't got to allow them to know anything. Just peep out what's going on around you. Be very observant. That You become the most dangerous person in the room when you're being able to control your emotions. You know, really be able to control your emotions. You know, I'll, I'll peep out certain things. I'm like, oh, we had this again. Oh, okay. We're in that mood. You need some empowerment by trying to piss me off. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and pray right now. You know, be one of those moments. Like, okay, that's it. But you will start identifying. This is allowing you to know. Peep game. You know, your higher self, you becoming the best version of yourself when you start peeping out things and you see how far you change. And it's just like a lot of times we feel like things aren't changing. If we're not changing, nothing will change. But a lot of times we have to understand, which is hard. Think of, you know, change takes a process. Change takes time. But then you'll start noticing that your habits and your interests start changing. It's like with me, I used to love listening to 911 calls and stuff like that. And I used to have to look up, I'm like, damn, does that make me a sociopath? Does that make me demented? What is going on with me? But it's just like, I guess since I've had so many near-death, you know, uh, situations, I'm very, you know, curious about death, you know. Um, you know, getting inside people's minds, they do, you know, some really dark stuff. Like, how do you do that? You know, I'd be looking at them PDO chomos. You know, and we looking like, I can't, when I see a little kid, I see beauty, I see cuteness, I see adorable, I see precious. That's God's gift. That's something you should hold sacred to your heart. And it's just like, and you really just trying to understand how people do that. And it's just like, man, I only want to know, but then I want to know, but then it's just like, I don't know, you know. But it's just at that time, you know, I'm just like that person. I'm very curious about different things, you know, wanting to learn about different things is, that can really spark my interest and be doing those things. And I learn so much about myself as days go by, you know, a lot of times where you have to start giving credit towards yourself when credit's due, regardless if other people don't want to give it to you. Because trust me, you inspiring a lot of people. They just a lot of people just don't, you know, uh, want to give you that credit. You know, there'll be some people like, Dag, I love your outfit. Oh, you look so beautiful today. Or you look so handsome today. Or you know what? You're really doing your thing. I don't see it when you, when you were second guessing yourself. Now you know about yourself. Because a lot of times when you start getting confident, people will think that's being cough, cough, cocky. Or when you're sure about yourself, that's being arrogant. You know, narcissistic. You know, say this, whatever. You know, and it's just like, no, I love myself. I think highly of myself. That doesn't make me narcissistic because I think highly of myself. I'm not looking highly at myself and looking at people like they're beneath me. Now, that's a narcissist. You know, when you're looking at everybody, even when people are in their motion of, like, they, they're finding excuses not to heal or they don't know how to heal. We can't look at anybody like that in that way because you may have been in that person's shoes. And I've been like that because I used to get mad when I see people. Like, why don't you heal? Why don't you come to terms with what you're going through? Because I'm tired of you doing this to me. And, you know, me being the narcissistic doormat or the punching bag, there's something in your, in your place where you okay with being in those illusions. I'm looking at truth. I'm being real. I'm being transparent. 
And you don't want to do that. And it's just like I had to be able to allow myself, don't place judgment. You don't know what that person's going through when they're not around you. You don't know what struggles they are going through in their mental. Because a lot of folks are still in their mental prisons. I used to be that way, you know. And work on that every single day about things like that. You have to be able to let that stuff go. And a lot of times it's hard to be able to do that on letting stuff go. Because it can be very heavy, you know. Having to come to terms with different things in your life. It was hard for me to be able to forgive my mom's ex-husband for all the things he did. You know, all the pain they done placed on me. The abuse I went through. Especially with his wife and stuff like that. Because that almost put me in a really dark place where I'm about to go head for head with senior citizens. You know. And it's just like you are really about to know God's Wi-Fi number. You know, Wi-Fi password and you about to be a hashtag. Don't play with me. You know, and it had to be that way. And it's just like, stop putting your power in things like that. That's exactly what they want you to do. They want you to be mad. They want you to be able to do this. And all these different things. But then it was just like, if I did not have this stuff happen to me, would I really know who I was to the core? Would I really know what is, while I'm working hard to be able to get what they're trying to keep away from me? Would I even know the strength and the power I carried if I wasn't being consistent? And, you know, not being consistent with myself and being complacent? Would I really know what my, my truth is to myself? And a lot of times we have to be able to look at it like that. And sometimes it's hard to do that when you're going through so many negative things. And it can really, you know, it can really swallow you whole. When, especially when you're dealing, because you ain't dealing with no petty stuff. And I'm like, I wish I had petty stuff going on with me. I wish that. Then it would be a little bit better better to deal with but when you're dealing with the highest of the high type situations where many people would have walked off a bridge or walked in the opposite direction for the things that you're facing and that shows you a lot about yourself you know you're facing things even though it's hard because I tell people healing is not an easy thing to do coming to terms what people have done towards you or different things you may have done to other people because we stay mad at other people and it's like they always say forgive yourself and you'd be ready to I'm good with myself. I ain't mad with myself. I'm mad with them. And it's just like you being mad with them is like being mad at yourself because you allowed somebody to hurt you. You allowed somebody to manipulate you. You allowed somebody to do this and do that, being deceptive towards you, whatever. And you 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 beat yourself up about it like I shouldn't have gave that person love. I shouldn't have gave this. And you have to be out of that vibration of not resenting, resisting what you did because you love hard or you have a good heart. You, you were that person's blessing at the time. Just because they took it for granted and didn't appreciate it. Don't ever take that, that, that away from what you did. Is in, you know, within love, kindness, you know. Because a lot of times people don't know your worth. You, you got to know that. And you got to keep them prices high, you know. You don't want to be that one that's easy to fool. I'd rather be hard to play with. You know, you can't play over me like that. You used to be able to do it, and a lot of people don't like that new me. They can't stand it. And it made me think about that little thing. I think that was like Game of Thrones. It's like, oh, you know, I love the old you. He's like, yeah, because that was more easy to kill. <laughs> you know, it's like one of those type of moments. I'm not going to allow you to run over me. I can see when you come in passive aggressive. Are you going to respond? You going to respond? That was my response. You didn't say anything. Bingo! I'm not allowing myself. I already see what kind of vibe that is. And, baby, that's way too low for me. You know, uh-uh. My, my knees start getting cramps. I'm getting older now. I can't be doing all that. You know? And be in one of those type of vibrations. But I say, if they can come up here, we can talk. You know? But I'm not going down there. I'm not stooping to put people's levels like that. And I had to be able to understand that. It's not personal. And a lot of times, we got to learn that, too. Be on low-key about that. It is not personal. You know? When you're going through different things, we all go through things. You know, you're like, oh, I want to be able to tell somebody who cares. Nobody ain't going to care because they already dealing with their own stuff. I had to be able to stop doing that. I changed so many different things. It's like when I end up uh, taking a few days off and I want to talk, uh, say, oh, I'm going off for safe self-care. It's just been this and this and that. I used to open up myself to where, oh, the enemy is like, oh, now it's time to play my games. I'm going to send some kind of heavy ass energy over there and do this and this and that to her, you know, and being able to confuse her, make her feel like she doubt herself, make her blocked, you know, make her feel like giving up, make her do this. Now it's just like, I'll step back. Hey, I'm, I'm replenishing. I'm good. <laughs> you know, I'm just so up your focus on me. I don't pour my cup out to everybody that needed it, whether I realized it or not. Now it's time for me to keep pouring back into mine. Now it's time for me to recharge. Now it's time for me to reset, re, you know, balance myself out. You know, reciprocate that love that I'm giving myself. Let that be on heavy rotation. You know, and you're having to be able to do that. Because it's like the things that we're going through is unfolding a you that you are not used to yet. 
And that's why it's so uncomfortable with us right now because it's like the old is fighting with the new. The healing thing, a lot of uneasy things is coming up to make you want to go straight postal, you know, where you're dealing with that. But these are those times of saying you've been holding on for these things for too long. You know, you've been dwelling on these things for too long. That situation can't change. That situation was supposed to change you. But we have a choice on how it can change us. Are we going to be this 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 walking eyesore? <laughs> this going to bring me down and everybody down around me? Or I'm going to allow this to make me a better person and say, you know, I, I can't keep blaming my family for these different things that they're going through. But they only taught what was being taught to them. We have to be a re reprogrammed. That already takes a lot of, you know, that takes a lot of lead work, brain work. You rewiring yourself, you know, being able to say, I'm not going to be a victim of my circumstances, but I'm going to be that victim that's overcoming those circumstances. I'm going to allow myself to take that mask off because I love the beauty that I have where God made me. You know, this is me. This is true with me. I'll be very transparent. You have to keep it real with yourself. When you keep it real with yourself, place love in yourself. You ain't going to worry about what other people are doing. You're not going to worry about how they feel about you. You know, as long as you know you feel for yourself, because you already know they can't match up without drop the YouTube short today. And it says a lot of times when you have rejection in your life, it's not because you're not valued or you're not wanted. It's because they can't afford you. You are priceless. And there's a lot of people that can't afford that. There, there's some people that in your life don't even, even be deserving of sharing the same energy with you. But a lot of times we'll take that as not being lovable. We'll take that for us not mattering. You know, everybody has friends and everybody got a husband, everybody got a wife, you know, they got family. I don't have nothing. You have yourself. You know, and a lot of times, it, you know, it gets lonely. I tell people, you, you know, I've been celibate for almost, that is going over, almost close to over six years. That was a long thing for me because I used to be a little hot butt out there. You know, I had a man mentality. I didn't care. Anybody used to sit up here and watch, um... Haunting a Hill, Hill House, I think that's what it was. It was on Netflix. I was like a little Theo. You know, I could have, I'm like, oh, okay. And what's your name again? <laughs> you know, and I used to be like that. Used to be out there. I ain't got no problem saying that now. Now it's just like where people are like, girl, you don't smoke. You don't drink. Are you pregnant? Are you a Mormon? I'm like, no. I just don't have interest in that. It's like having sex, yeah, that'll feel good. But, you know, then you got to worry about the stuff that you may be catching. Shoot, even the energies. There was a whole lot of people got the sexual demons hooked up to them. I ain't trying to up here and vibe with that. That's the RSVP. I am canceling. No. You know, I'd rather be, you know, wholesome to myself, sacred to myself. This is a temple to me. You know, you, you I mean, it's priceless. You can't be doing that. You know, so it had to take for that time for me to be able to keep myself to myself. You know, and those are the things I'm proud of myself for because it's like before I used to be so quick to jump into something and not realize I'm jumping in a psychopath or am I dating Dexter? Am I dating Freddy Krueger? What am I dating? You know, and wonder why things will fall out because I didn't get a chance to know people. Now it's like I've been through so much. I pay attention to every single red flag. You know, even when people trying to mask that, people will be like, oh, I don't want to talk right now, but I can text you. And you already know. Don't, them vibes don't switch. I don't know why people think. You know, even empaths, they be doing that. I'm like, why do you feel like we don't, we can even see your energy through your words? I already know the, I already know the vibes. I always tell people, I already know the vibes I'm about to attract when I sit up here and make these videos. I feel y'all before y'all get here. You know, some of them going to be appreciative. It's like, oh, wow, this is what's been going on in my life. Or, oh, my God, she understands me. Or, oh, my God, she's telling my story. And this what I really wish she shut up. Who does she think she is? Why can that be my gift? How is she able to do that? You know, different. Th how can I block her? <laughs> you know, keep her away from all her happiness. You know, I had to go through all those different things, but that's what made me me. You know, you're going through different things. You learning, you healing, really exploring the depths of you. You know, being able to understand you to the core because it was like we were casted out. You know, in in all these illusions. You know, you went through abusive situations. You 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 know, you breathe that in. You know, you embody that. And for you want to flip the script and just like, gosh, I was toxic. Ooh, I was so unloving. I was projecting. I was living in my fear. You know, it make me want to gag and stuff like that. Now it's just like, you own up to it. Nobody's perfect. Only God can judge you. 
let people judge you. Oh, you remember when you used to do that? Oh, you still suck on my pants, right? Why don't you go stay right over there with it? Because I don't even know her anymore. You know, and be allowing myself to do that. You know, I got people where they want to keep digging up dirt. I already put my own dirt out there. What you going to do? You can't embarrass me. You know, whatever I went through, I'm like, baby, please. I got too many daggone receipts to sit up here and embarrass the heck out of you times four. Don't play with me. You know, but I'm not that tit for tat person because I'll be looking like, okay, that's your third or fourth play. <laughs> and that's your third or fourth baby daddy and that's your third or fourth marriage. We don't want to go there. You know, and be one of those situations, but you, you have to be low key. And I was like, on, I, what was I doing? I was, I think I was scrolling through different videos or something like that, movies. I was watching a movie and I see low key. And I, that was the second time I was seeing like a door. You know, you hold the key to that. And it got to be low at times. You only, you know, a lot of times when you end up doing something, you end up dropping something that's really going to be, you know, profitable towards you and going to give you financial growth. You're going to be living a comfortable lifestyle. And people are like, man, you didn't tell me nothing about this. I said, oh, dad, you didn't know. I thought I told you. No, you didn't. Because <laughs> you already know. If that person knew what you were doing, they would have straight blocked you. You know, because they admire you. People admire you. You know, when they, it, it just seems like when people, they always say, when you have haters, haters admire you. They think you're the best. You know. They wouldn't be paying attention so much. They wouldn't be trying to work so hard to just have people not want to like you or convince you you're fake or fraud, you know, you're op, you know, all those different things. That means you're great. You know, a lot of times you, you have people on social media that will support you before family will, you know, and that's it. You know, you go through all those different things. But, you know, you sometimes you have to play the fool with other people. You know, they think they fooling you. Oh, why didn't you tell me this? Why? You never told me. I said, I'm like, I wasn't going to tell you because anything, it could be me having some, finding five cents on the ground and you're going to be upset about that. Your self esteem is, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm not going to touch that. I'm not touching that. Mm -mm. You're just not. And these are the different things you learn from your situations. This is the reason why we go through the things we go through. So it can be a learning experience on what to do, what not to do. Not so quick to jump into things when things may be uncomfortable. Because right now, God is going to test a moment. He'll be doing things that he'll put something on your daggone way. And, you know, it may seem like a spiritual block. But he's just trying to see how they're going to handle this when things are not moving the way they do. You know, then he knows you're going to get mad. You're going to be upset. But you're going to stop doing what you're doing because things didn't go your way that day are you gonna allow yourself like damn that messed me up you know i'll be okay well i can't change it let me go ahead and keep doing what i'm doing Boom! now you're showing you showing god like now you're teaching yourself something just because your circumstances is not going the way you want it you still allowing yourself to move the best way you know how even when you got so much stuff going on in your life to make you just want to fall out make you want to go postal make you want to do some stuff you know um take a couple of folks out you know want to be a mobster you know do something else like that but then you're allowing yourself to still shake it off and do something positive you know get yourself out there right you know sometimes you can read a book go take a walk you know get a breath of fresh air do a breathing exercise you know go meditate all those different things but when you're trying to allow yourself to know I don't have control over certain circumstances some things I do have control over where I can make different decisions or I can rearrange stuff and change it or whatever but a lot of times these situations you're placed in is trying to teach you trying to change you in different perspective allow yourself to let go of the ropes you know and know that you know some a lot of things is, is like God be waiting for you you know universe archangels angels your guides you know and you know Ascension Masters, whatever. And um, they're waiting for you to be able to ask for assistance. You know, or you're in that vibe like, I want to know more about myself. I want to explore. I want to know where you're wanting to lead me at. I want to be, you know, that compass that you're using to find my way to myself. And when you're allowing yourself to do that, you're like, man, they're growing up, man. Now you want to sit up here, and you, now you're allowing us to do the work. Because before, you kept doing everything. We just allowed you to do it until you see you were standing in your own way. You know, you, you were your worst enemy. You were your worst critic. You were standing in your own way of your process of progress. But when you allow yourself to say, God, let me be used. Or take it up with God before you make a decision. You know, a lot of times he's going to tell you no. Or a lot of times he's just not going to answer you. But a lot of times when it comes scarce, like scary, still, like silent, oh, he up to something. 
you teaching. They always say teachers always quiet during the test. So you're learning more about yourself. You know, never be in that vibration of regret and resentment for the way you were with people, the kindness you shared with people that didn't, you know, take advantage of that or people just want to push you away. You got to understand when you become so positive, that irritates people that wants to stay negative. You know, they don't want to be around you. No, I don't want to do this. No, I don't want to do this. And y'all could have been like ace boom coons. And then all of a sudden when you allowing yourself to change, that intimidated them or they start looking at you different. Or they didn't like that because they liked the old you. They wanted you to stay that way, you know. And you have to be able to understand that, you know, what's that saying? Everybody ain't made for the streets. That's why they have sidewalks. You know, you had to be able to do that. was going to be one of my titles in my content. But, you know, a lot of people ain't made for the streets. You were made for the streets. You know, some other streets, people need to be left in the streets. But you are made for that street for you to be able to change that view of how you see things. Change how you go about things, how you move forward, how you see things from a different perspective. You know, because it's easy for us to always look at uh, hardship in a negative way. It's easy for us to do that. It's hard. It's easy for you to give up and be in that negative Nancy vibe, you know. And no offense to anybody watching this name Nancy, but you know you can be in that type of vibration. But what takes true strength is when you can understand this is, you know, God trying to teach me something. You know, I gotta be patient. I gotta trust the process. <laughs> you know, I hate that word. You know, I hate them daggone sayings. You have to. But these are those things where they always tell you, you're going to be so happy you didn't give up. You're going to be so happy you didn't let up off of your dreams. You're going to be so happy that you stay consistent with yourself. You're going to understand why God told you it is not no, but it's not right now. Or it's not uh, indefinite. No, what, how do they say it? It's not, um, I forgot how they say it, but it's like, it's not a no, but it's, um, it, it, it means a delay, you know, it's not decline, but it's a delay. I think how that season go, but I said season saying go, but you know, a lot of times he, he's, he's still working on you. You still healing. He wants you to be in that alignment to your process. Cause whatever you working on, whatever he instilled in your mind is already yours already as it is, but you had to be in that direct alignment. So where you don't F it up. You know, they want to make sure you don't ever up. And, you know, a lot of times, it's just like when you're dealing with twin flames and stuff like that, you know, they're on their healing journey as well as you're on your healing journey. And we, you can be wanting to really long to be in their presence. It's like we're all in one anyway. You're in oneness. You know, separation is like an illusion. I'm like, well, they, I can't touch them right here. You know, it's like it's all about the mind. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're never separated from them. That's all a, a, a vibration of illusion where the devil wants you to think that. You know, y'all always in oneness, but y'all had to come into a situation to where you learn from your hardship. You healed from your hardship. You forgave from that hardship. You know, you're going through trauma and drama because a lot of times you go on these spiritual awakenings or you go through finding out you have a twin flame journey. You have went through a lot of drastic stuff. You probably went through some very hard stuff. You know, finding out you have a twin flame out here. You know, I tell people uh, all twin flames are not uh, romantic. You know, a lot of them it could be your soulmate. And your soulmate always don't have to be romantic either. It could be a best friend. You know, you got people out there that is just like, you know, you, you, you that there'll be that vibration like no matter what, we still we still cool. We kick it. We may not talk every day or whatever like we used to, but we're all on our journey. But we are, you know, when it's intended to, we're going to come right back. You know, because a lot of things we go through, especially when you're dealing with twin flames and stuff like that, you, I mean, you really, that, that is not no regular, you know, no regular daggone relationship. That mess get hard because it was like so many different things will come to the surface that make you uncomfortable, make you unsure of yourself, make you just doubt or just want to give up the whole situation altogether. But there's something in you that God's leading you to, universe is leading you to that you cannot stop. He ain't even going to let you, even if you try. He ain't going to let you, you know. So you're going through all these different things in your life. But allow yourself to stay low-key on a lot of things that you're doing. You know, and don't allow the left hand to know what the right hand doing. You know, people can't stop what they can't see. You know, there's a lot of times where you, I mean, you become so powerful. You have to understand your enemies see your power before you do at times. You know, that's the reason why people want to convince you that you don't have what it takes to be able to do this. Or they're going to try to convince you. That dream is too big for that to ever come possible. Or, you know, it. I, I tried doing that too. 
but I can't do it. You know, but this is a person that gave up on their dreams. This is a person that don't have nothing to offer in their life because they don't mess it all up. You know, you're not them. You know, you allow yourself to be around people that want to see you, 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 you know, move up in life. They want to see you achieve something. They want to welcome that prosperity into your life. And they don't have hidden motives or any kind of ill intentions towards you. Want to see the best out of you and get on your butt when they see that you slack. And it's like, I know you better than that. What are you doing? Uh-uh. No. You can take a break, pause for the cause for a minute, but you better jump back up. And when you jump back up, you better be acting like you sure of yourself. You walk in there like you were meant to be there. You know, and you have to be able to do that. And those are the type of people you want to hook, line, and sink with. Uh-uh. You cool. I like you. You know, you get me on my toes. You keep me on my toes. You know, you need those type of people in your life that knows the potential you got. And they see it. And it's just because you have you have to understand when you get so many people, they always want to come at you, you know, talking head for head, always trying to constantly bring you in something. Because they see your potential. They see your light. They see your strength. They see that you they see you a star in some kind of way. They just try to convince you that it don't exist. They don't want to be able to do that. Because a lot of people think even when you you know you've been that type of person, you support people. You know, and you'll be that person that was misreliable or Mr. Reliable. And you've gone through different things like that. And then when it comes around and you on the other foot, everybody done got ghosts. Everybody coming up with excuses. You know, people that want to be in your life, they can, they'll take a time out of their busy schedule to make sure they can accommodate you on that. That's what real folks do. People that you need to keep in your life. Where people make excuses. You know, when you're going through different stuff like that. But you want those type of people that are in your life. This is the reason why we go through so many different things. You go on a spiritual awakening. God shows you a blessing that he's about to bring into your life. But for you to be able to get to this blessing, he's going to start showing you the true intentions of everyone in your life. He's going to show you the different things that you should not and should be doing. He'll be showing you different things that you should not and should not be doing. You know, all those different things. Be telling people different things you should be doing. You're learning through life lessons. You're becoming strength. You know, you come to power your own strength. You go into the core of you. And when you find that new person that's always been there, it was waiting for you to reconnect, it's going to be a beautiful thing. And you're going to look back and say, I remember the times I used to let people just take advantage of me. Or I remember the times where I used to allow people to manipulate me. Or I allowed myself to play small when I should have been, you know, and I'm, I'm like that big thundercat. I'm like the Hulk. I'm a Thor. You know, one of those different things. You know, I allowed myself to not worry. They wanted me to play safe. They wanted me to play silent. But you had to go through those different situations to get out your own way. That's why they always say, stay low key. Because right now, you know, God making shifts. You don't know what's going on. They keep on telling you, be consistent. Don't give up. We know what's going on. We, You know, even though you don't see it, don't mean it ain't nothing going on behind closed doors for you. Especially if you know you've been putting in work. If you've been putting in work and you know there'll be different times where you just had to, it, it became too more overwhelming for you. And they know we, we can't be running 24-7 like that. You can't be on fumes like that. You have to be able to take a break. You got to be able to replenish yourself. You know, that's why I always tell us we got to be able to, you know, be in that alone time every day, especially when you're an empath, because that can come overwhelming. You start projecting out things that's, you know, attracting. Then you got to be very, you know, shielding. You know, because it's like when people coming in and they got their own situation, all of a sudden somebody can walk past you and all of a sudden you got stomach cramps because they dealing with something and you feeling it within your spirit, within your energy, things that, you know, you could be talking about with certain people. And all of a sudden I was like, I didn't get that text. And it was like, don't be trying to send that again because it wasn't supposed to be. Or you trying to explain something to somebody and they're not understanding what you're saying because that message wasn't meant for them. They can't decode that. If they decode that, they're going to block your blessings. Keep that to yourself. You know, that's why I made a video a few weeks ago talking about you getting downloads. And when you get your downloads, you may see certain images. Like, it may be like a glitch. If anybody ever watched The Matrix, it's like, ooh, that was funny. What you mean? That was kind of like deja vu. That they're going to Well, hold up. Wait a minute. What? <laughs> no, they can't. It moved a certain way. You know, and they're like, uh-uh, we got to go. You know, the, the, the men in suits, whatever they call their mess. Um, you know, the different things. Mr. Anderson. I think that's you know that creepy ass guy <laughs> with them glasses on but you know it, it'll be different things that is taking place where you know where it'll be that confirmation where you you, you can be like oh can I do this you know because it was like um on my last video it was like a few days ago it was like oh you want me to tell my story again and then it was just like next you know I hear it hey go tell your story you don't know you know what 
you know what what's gonna be coming out of that from you seeing it now so i was just like dad this is my third or fourth time talking about this I, I get tired of talking about it. i'm trying to make peace with it okay you know and be like no the way you're when you're you're articulating yourself and you're projecting from a, a place of healing you're seeing things in a different way than you did back then that's why we have you talking about certain things that's coming out where people are gonna really need to hear your situation people don't want to have to understand you get to know you a little bit better but also allow them to get reacquainted with their self on a different level being able to say you're you're showing the worst thing you have ever gone through because it's like the situation that brought me here i mean i went through a lot of stuff in my life like you know i felt like i was janky my mom used to do janky ass you know you used to always tell me that like you are bad look you know and it would be just those different things to make me feel like you are at the time oh boy you know, be one of those situations. Well, you don't have to count on me. You know, be different situations like that. But it, it was just at that point, you know, I had to go through so much in life. And I felt like, you know, not understanding what was going on. Not really trying to, you know, hear it because I just didn't care. But just being able to understand, you know, we're going to go through things in life. You know, but you are learning from the different things in your life. Don't ever resent anything. You know, uh, I forgot what I was about to say. But it will be different things that you're seeing from a different perspective through your harsh, you know, situation. And it's just like being through, going through so much. That's what I was about to say. Going through so much at once and being able to lose a parent that you never knew. That was like everything that you have gone through. The most harshest situations you've gone through times 20 million <laughs> compared to this situation. Because it was hard, but it was just like that one just took a whole new level of daggone messed up, you know. But it made me, you know, it broke me away from everything that I thought was true about myself. And I built myself up because I was living a lie this whole time. You know, everybody knew about my life except me. And that, that was like one of them things thrown in the side that really was about to make me take off in a bad way, you know. But it built me different. It allowed me to see how consistent I am with myself, allowing me to see how straightforward I can be. You know, not, you know, we fear what we don't understand. We fear when we don't know what's going to happen into our life you know something's happening you can't sleep something going on you know your your sleep patterns off you know you're getting constant downloads you may get a a, a vivid situation like you here you see here you're looking from here but you see in here you know and you'll see different things that'll come off you like with me i'll get a little snippet of something that's going on I'm like dang i just seen that or i can say something next you know it's being repeated in, in a, like a uh a video or some music or you know you you know different things like that like or you really going through something you listen to music and it's just like universe is speaking to you through music you know all these different things so allow yourself to know you know you know you gotta stay low key to low key you know sometimes you gotta fool the fool to think they fooling you and you end up seeing who the fool okay <laughs> so keep going keep meditating keep elevating you know stay consistent and persistent with yourself knowing to be straight determined anything that is taking long to, for it to appear into your manifestations doesn't mean you're not going to get it it's going to be more than you ever expected so you keep going okay you know the devil don't want you you know receiving anything in your life so he's going to make try to convince you of everything is going to be a lie so he sees your potential in your life so keep going because you deserve anything that's coming on. And you might do it tomorrow just because you know that blessing might open a day. So stay persistent and consistent. I leave all my contact information in the description box below. It's all about networking, you know, spiritual networking, you know, just being able to help each other, you know, seeing, you know, different situations that we'd be going through and you're trying to make sense of it. Um, and just being able to get insight on, on that with, you know, somebody else that may understand. Because a lot of times we go through stuff and people don't understand this. It's out crazy. You don't want to be judged. All that. And I, I tell people, I don't judge you. As long as you ain't touching little kids, hurting little animals, and pushing daggone old folks down the daggone flight of stairs, we good. You know, even though I can't judge a guy, I can't. But it's just like, I, I can't mess with that type of energy. I can't, you know, just that. But anyways, you know, and check out my uh, my community page. It has like all my different memes on there or different uh, situations that may be going on right now. Because right now everything is like you feeling challenged. Everything is probably irritating you right now. So you're being challenged. So no, this is normal. You know, a lot of things like everybody's energy is on high right now. So you have to be able to be patient with it. You know, take more time and solitude to work on yourself. You know, shielding yourself. Because you have to right now work. The audacity of energy is on its all-time high. So you got to make sure you're able to shield yourself definitely from that because you can, you can be digesting all that stuff. But 
much love to you um if i have not replied to your uh comment because i start my videos kind of late i didn't think i was gonna do it but i was led to do that so um you know if i haven't responded i'll just go ahead and give you a shout out right now i'll go ahead and respond it when i can uh lamb sauce welcome to the fam it's good to have you uh stephen douglas much love welcome to the fam and best scenes much love to you welcome to the fam um you know whatever uh oh yeah and i actually have my podcast and my community page and if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation cash app there as well uh whatever you're trying to manifest into your life i'm sending you so much beautiful blessings towards your way 20 million times fold you got this whatever you've been working hard for you truly deserve and you're going to make it happen so stay persistent and consistent on yourself so um even through social distancing make sure you give out love light positivity words vibes frequencies you never know those things really can take somebody a long way and just for you doing it for no no reason at all, but just to help other people is going to take you even further. Much love. Namaste. I say shalom. Peace. Much love.